You know, ultimately, I think cooking, it's almost a little bit selfish in some aspects because you enjoy giving something to someone to get a reaction, right? Hey, I'm Robbie Bell from City Larder and City Larder Distribution, and today I'm going to be cooking three different kinds of steaks with three different garnishes, and I'm going to be using the Matador Rapid Sierra. We wanted to create a brand that was known as quality. I was a chef for 25 years. My wife worked in the front of the house for 15 years. We bring that restaurant experience to the retail market so people know when they order that, they can have confidence that they're getting the best quality produce at home. Do you want to light the cereal five minutes before you need it just to get it nice and hot? A quarter turn on the gas, a twist on here till you start hitting the ignition and then you'll see it light and away we go. Hold it down for 15 seconds just to make sure it gets hot. Once I've turned it on, I want to pull out the heat shield to protect the table. We're going to use a dry aged ribeye, grass fed, which is a beautiful from Victoria. I want to do a field mushroom and some cherry tomatoes on the vine. So as you can see, it's getting up to temperature. We can see a little bit of smoke coming up. You can see the nice red glow inside. I want to take out the tray, ready to put the steak on. So I'm going to oil the tray so the steak doesn't stick to it. And then I'll season the steak to go on the tray and we'll bang it in the sear. The idea is, is you want to get a crust on, so high temperature. So like cooking under high heat like this, it gets it that, a nice crust, which gives you the caramelization of the meat, which gives you that nice meat flavor. And here we go, it's pretty exciting. So the flame is licking the meat and just caramelizing it nicely. It looks great, look at it. Oh, that's got a fantastic crust straight away. Another great thing about this is on the cooking plate, there's some slats which the, the fat can drip down into a grease tray, which is super easy to clean. Beautiful. A little bit of olive oil. So there you go, you can see a dark crust from the searing and then a little bit of pinkness and then a little bit of rareness in the middle which is a perfect medium rare. And for the second steak, I want to use in a beef filler. It's got lovely marbling. It's probably the most tender cut on the animal. We're going to do it a bit of a Spanish style with the guindillas, the piquillo peppers, and the baby broad beans. Something like what you get in San Sebastian or Barcelona. Again, the great thing about this is you can have different levels. So I like to start it off nice and high to start the, the caramelization, and then I want to bring it down. I've brought it down to the bottom shelf just to warm it through and finish off that cooking. Oh, beautiful. That's my Spanish style beef fillet. We're gonna make a miso butter to go with the David Blackmore full blood Wagyu sirloin, grilled asparagus and ponzu and yuzu kochu dressing. Miso is in a phenomenal thing. It's, it's really, it's really, really good. It's in the bowl. We've got a little bit of yuzu kochu, two parts ponzu, one part olive oil. Again, just a little bit of olive oil. We have the ability just to pull that bit out and the tips won't get cooked, but the base will, right? So this is David Blackmore's full blood Wagyu steak from Victoria. Okay, let's get this going. We give it a blast, another blast and then a rest and I think that then we're there. I like to just cut it slightly on the angle and you can see the nice, the nice colour. There we have it, a simple dish with great ingredients. David Blackmore's Wagyu steak with ponzu dressing and miso butter. So there's three different recipes with three different cuts of meat cooked on the Matador Sierra. It just goes to show you can have fantastic steaks cooked at home.